Hey YouTube, a wee bit late today, um, I got carried away. Uh, sometimes you just end up, end up sitting working out something on the guitar for hours. I was doing it on this, which isn't mine. This is a Washburn Falcon. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I've adjusted the camera so you can actually get all of them in shot. So this is how many wings? Two, four, six, seven, eight wings in the same room. I don't think that happens very often, um, even though this one isn't mine. So the reason these are out is because I'm in the process of making this bass work kind of to make the, f the full set. This one doesn't quite fit in with the set because it's a little bit later, but not, um, rather, I'm going to do a big, a big wing video, right, for all of them, um, once I've got that, once I've got that one working. So I'll, I'll kind of leave the history a bit. This one is a bit unique because this is 1983, and I think this was the last year, the last Yamaki ones. The Yamaki ones are like, um, this, this is an earlier Falcon. As you can see, it's quite a different thing. Um, I'm going to start at waist twice as much. But you know, you get sort of his neck through, carved top, all sorts of brass inlays. Very fancy guitar. Was this, although it's still a Falcon, is a much lower spec guitar. It's much simpler. Kind of, it's got a flat top and it's a set neck. Um, interesting, there's this, see this car. That's the only one of the only differences between the eagle has is, and the early ones. The eagle one has that carve, and the hawk and the falcon do do not. Whereas by the time it came to nineteen eighty three, they all seem to have this carve. Um, yeah, this is uh, so nineteen eighty three, and I'm now thinking that there were leftovers from Yamaki when Chushin started building the guitars. Is the serial number on this? Is the Yamaki looks exactly the same as the serial numbers on? Yep, the, the earlier ones. Um, so I think this is the sort of last run when they closed down. There was a sort of the, the new range. I think the T-Bird might have been in that range as well. Um, this one has a collar fitted to it, but it's not originally a collar because you can see where the... It used to be one of the power sustain bridges. Um, so now it's got a collar, which I just found this arm in my parts box, which is a bit straight, but it fits. So... I'll, I'll see if it works. I might, I might just put it out of tune. I've, not, I've, been, I've been playing it all afternoon, but I didn't actually think of... I didn't sort of notice it as a camera. Well, I noticed, but I didn't use it. Um, yeah, so this one has a, is very similar to my black one up here. This is a 1984, which is after Yamaki closed. And someone told me before that these were... Um, sort of the, the BBR series were kind of using up leftover guitars that they hadn't yet finished. Um, which kind of sort of makes sense because this is very similar to this. Um, basically, the same guitar. This is obviously uh, this. This was a, a trim version. I put a Floyd Rose in it. It wasn't a Floyd Rose. It was a cheapy thing. But the, uh, so this is a trim version of this. And although this one does, this one actually says Hawk on the headstock as well. So this one has binding on the headstock. The binding on the neck, this does have binding on the neck, it's just it's black. But the binding on this one is uh, quite fancy. Like, I like it. Um, I don't know if you can see there, it's like a sort of double. It's probably just called double binding, actually. Um, and it's got binding on the headstock. And also the binding around the outside is much more layered. It's got like three bands of black. Whereas on this one, it's a piddly two bands of black. So you get an extra band of black. Um, I noticed that the fret markers on this one are much bigger than the 1984 Hawk as well. It's the much smaller ones for some reason. Don't really know what they're thinking about there. Um, that binding on the fretboard, it was reminding me of something and it was uh, very much of this, which is my West Tone Prestige, has the same sort of binding on it. Um, and it's funny because thinking about it, this is kind of, one of the main rivals for was a similar sort of similar sort of thing. That one's nineteen eighty four, so maybe maybe the maybe nineteen eighty three was nineteen eighty four was when this sort of binding started appearing places. People were using it, or maybe lots of guitars that I just haven't seen have it. Yeah, so um, this is my pals, the guy with more washburns than me. Um, he. I didn't like it because the bridge pickup was much, it was far too loud and the neck pickup neck pickup's original 
the bridge pickup, I haven't actually taken it out, but I think it's a DiMarzio. Um, I, someone told me relatively recently, you can tell whether it's a DiMarzio or not if it's got imperial sized Allen key things on it, and it is imperial sized. And this one's metric, I'm looking at it as a standard washburn power sustain. Um, yeah. So, and uh, I actually basically what, what was wrong with it was it wasn't this pickup being too loud, it was this one being too quiet. Uh, someone's been rewiring it, this no longer has push pull pots, which it should have, it should have color splits. So the washburn pickup has the shield and two wires coming out of it. And uh, what you get with some, some guitars, you know, you take one of the one of the wires, the white one, stick it onto the earth, the earth from the back of the pot, but that only runs out of a single coil because one of them's a tap wire. So basically all I had to do was snip a wire off, tape it, and became a humbucker again. A uh, bit of contract, contact cleaner. The strings on it are ancient. But it sounds good. So it won't be unclean for very long because it's only single, it's only humbuckers. So that's a Dimarzio. The bridge. Yeah, it's also quiet if you turn, turn the volume down. And this is the Washburn Power Sustain, which is in the neck. Listen to them in this guitar. Um, this super distortion is very, or the this the uh, Washburn power sustain is very similar to the Magic Super Distortion. Uh, this pretty much sounds exactly the same as what we would expect from the other ones. I've got two of the the Washburn pickups in it. It's kind of the same difference between them. It's in bridge and neck positions. Yeah, so this will just be a short. This is a, just a short video for reference. I always say it's a short video. I'm going to try and uh, play along with the, what I've been trying to work out for the last all afternoon, and I'll not get through it, so it'll probably be hideous from now on. Um, so this is a 1983 Last of the Yamakis, I think, or one of the earliest of the Tushins, um, Washburn Falcon. Fantastic guitar. Uh, I don't know. You kind of know I've got so many. I like them anyway. Um, so I would I'd maybe consider adding this to my collection just for the sake of it. Oh, I meant to say the colour's not a colour, it's a, a Japanese copy of a colour, I think. Um, it's exactly the same one that has also been fitted to my Washburn A10, so whatever that is. Um, it's it's a very similar, maybe it's a, it's, cop it's a copy of a different model of colour, something like that maybe. Don't know. Um, and uh, it's, I don't know if it's really shown up here, but this, this pickup's annoyingly white. You kind of want it to be cream. And it's also got a black surround, which it should be white. I think, I don't know, would I do that if it was mine? Possibly. I think, to be honest, I would probably swap out the um, DiMarzio and put in one of my DiMarzios, which is exactly the same, apart from it's, it's gone this colour, as opposed to being as white as this one is. I don't know if this one, I wonder if it's maybe been cleaned with bleach or something. You know, because it looks quite old. Or maybe it's just a relatively new pickup. Um, apparently this one, I talk, just asked the the owner there where he got it. I don't think he said when he got it, but he's got it on eBay in the UK. So this is a probably a UK one since I know that he did buy some from America at one point. Um, this wasn't one of them apparently. <laughs> right, but try and do this. See if I can get, get 
Thank <laughs> you. 
I kind of almost thought I was getting through that. There, I see the first time through it. Um, it's really just one bit, but I kind of did it one where you kind of stick at and then one where it flows. Because I was always thought that song was amazing the way it's got that really annoying bit where it goes. Okay, dip, 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 because you you wanted to go. Just to get a bit of Rap pedal seems dead bassy today for some reason. Yeah, so basically I would accept this into the collection, I think, um, even though I've already got, as I said, a Falcon, um, and it's a, these are fancier, so it's a, it's a better Falcon, but this one, having the colour on it kind of gives it a little bit of, well, no, see that's the problem. What I've just done there is I've justified this because it's got a colour the same way I justified buying this one, because it's got a Floyd Rose. <laughs> it's too similar to this one. Um, you can't have both, really. Uh, I'd be interested to see what the price difference was between the two, um, because they are ultimately, okay, you do pay extra for binding. Uh, this one is a little bit plainer. The guitar itself just seems very similar. It was the three-piece neck as well. You can sort of see in the paint where it started to sink in a little bit from certain angles. You can see it's got a, it's a three-piece neck in this one, um, which is a good thing. Um, but again, that's another thing, it's not like the Falcon, even though it's a set neck. Falcon's five piece, Hawk's three piece, that's how you can tell whether you've got a Falcon or a Hawk. Um, also the colour schemes, I know that as well. Yeah, and I suppose before I go, I will, um, if anyone's got any questions, I'm going to do my question and answer thing. Someone's asked me for um, all the non-Scottish people to explain why I'm always going about Bucky and what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. It's going to be a, a, a or any ideas about what I've got to say about Bucky, rather than, rather than just calling it Wreck the Hoose Juice. Yeah, so I've, started, I've, I've kind of got most of the finish off this. Um, it's still a bit matte, I need to polish it like mad. Um, there still seems to be a slight hint of red in it. Um, maybe a bit more than it should be, I don't think it should be. I kind of quite like it. Um, so this is the Vulture, which is the last one in the set, which if you haven't been watching, um, I got this and was a little bit disappointed to find out. I thought I'd get a really rare red one, but I hadn't had a, a really... They're still really rare. I mean, they're, they're sort of all about, but uh, a red one was unheard of. And it had been spray-painted at some point in the 80s, I think. Um, <laughs> This really does play, it's so easy to play. It's much, I'd say it's, it's much more like a normal guitar than these two particularly are. They've got big slab necks and they're really heavy and they feel like a Rolls Royce. This is a much more normal guitar kind of, I don't know, where, where would it sit? Um, I don't know. I'd have this over a Les Paul anyway. Um, well, I'd have, them, I'd, I'd have the Les Paul sell it and then buy one of these. I don't know how much these are worth. Um, prices have been going up and people don't know the difference between the, the a Falcon's a Falcon sort of thing. You get ones from the early 80s, ones from, I'm calling this later on, and it's 83, it's not exactly later on. Um, and then there's a few more after that, but I'll get onto that with my super structured and possibly even scripted um, washburn wings, everything I've worked out. Quite, quite good to me this has come in because I'm now sitting here thinking that this is a Yamaki one though, um, the last of the Yamakis, and then the following, the 1984, they were using up the last of the offcuts and the bits they didn't sell on the BBR series, and I think those other wings came out or they just stopped making them, one of the two. Rock on! <laughs>